just love the city during the holidays. All the tourists giving away, clogging up the streets and shit. I got stuck behind people who didn't know how to work a revolving door. <laughs> they're, they're staring at it like people who don't know how to merge in traffic. Just like, no, no, wait, no, no, not that one. No, wait, too quick. No, wait, no, gotta get away. Then they're like three people trying to fit in one, like it's a ride. You know, you ever get stuck on these people? Fucking come. Get out of the city. Then I'm in the elevator with these same people, and they don't even know how to press the button for their floor. And they're like pressing the number next to the button and trying to talk into the button. I finally said, what are you people, never been in a fucking elevator before? They said, no, we're from Nebraska, can you tell? <laughs> the biggest building we've ever been in before is a barn. <laughs> yeah, that'd be fooled, like, It's like city dwellers to me. It's like, yeah, just get out of the city and go home. And There's too many fucking idiots around. <laughs> really, everywhere. Like, whose idea was it to make Sweet Home Alabama the theme music for the Kentucky Fried Chicken commercials? Idiots everywhere. 90% 90, 90 of the general public, by my count, is a fucking idiot. And I'll give you the, I'm taking uh, Lunesta, the sleeping pill, and it's, I swear to God, it says right on the label, it says, side effects may include drowsiness. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I sure fucking hope so. <laughs> Otherwise, I'm just wasting my time here. <laughs> may include drowsiness? What is that, I'm lucky? You can't sneak me a bottle of Tic Tacs instead of the medicine? It's a sleeping pill. Drowsiness is not a side effect. That's the effect. <laughs> it is everywhere. I'm watching this uh, Nike commercial, and the woman running in the commercial has artificial legs, which I guess is supposed to be very inspirational, and just do it, and yeah, 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 but I don't really think she needs a sneaker. She's got no fucking feet. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not a doctor, but I gotta think you can get artificial legs with those little tread marks on the bottom, you know? <laughs> Save me 80 bucks on the shoes, right? But there's some marketing schmuck in a conference room somewhere looking at reports going, you know, I can't figure out why people with no feet aren't buying our shoes. We need a commercial. <laughs> get on that, Johnson, right? <laughs> idiots everywhere. Right now, Con Ed, now that it's getting to be winter, You'll be all be happy to know Con Ed made a big improvement to their website that just announces you'll be able to track power outages right on their website. <laughs> yeah, so the first big storm we have this winter, I want you to all go home, turn on your computers, log on to conned.com, and within like minutes you can find out if you have electricity. <laughs> and I told that to somebody and he says, Well, I have a laptop and a battery and I can use that to see if I have electricity. So you may get a light switch, too. <laughs> That's usually a pretty good indication of electrical activity in the area. I got a $2 bill and change the other day. I was so excited. I haven't seen one of those in forever. I was saving it up for like days just to look like a big shot. I was waiting for somebody to ask me if, yeah, if I had a dollar. It's like, no, I, I don't want a big bill. <laughs> no, I don't want to break it, too. <laughs> I don't carry small bills like that. Uh, yeah. Just when you turn that around, too, you can throw people off. Walk up to somebody, ask them if they have a change of two. They're like, what, two? What? <laughs> yeah, I got a sack of Joia and a couple of pennies. And... <laughs> or go to the bank and ask them when you cash your check. Yeah, I want that all in hundreds and 47 twos. <laughs> that, please. I'm going to be in the VIP room at the strip club. <laughs> that's not a dollar spot. That's <laughs> Trying to save money. I entered, the, uh, <laughs> I entered the Nathan's Hot Dog Eating Contest this summer. Not for the contest, but for like the $20 entry fee. I got like 68 hot dogs. It was awesome. <laughs> Everybody's shoving them in their mouths. I'm shoving them in my pocket. <laughs> I'm going to take a doggy bag. Wrap these up. I'm not going to be able to finish it. I came in last place, but I ate for a month off those fucking hot dogs. It was great. <laughs> The other thing I do, like Jim said, the other thing I do, I go to the doctor's office to tell I think I have a hernia. It's cheaper than dating. <laughs> For a $10 coat pack, I get my balls fell. It's, you know, cheap day, a shirt day, and you get a lollipop when I'm done. So, <laughs> I'll win it all around. I love that little uh, directory of doctors. I just wish I had pictures in it, you know? <laughs> Dr. Debbie, <laughs> what ailment am I going to have for you this week? <laughs> it's like my own little match.com. Blue <laughs> Cross book there. Anyway, buddy of mine's getting divorced. 
I'm the walking wedding curse. Every wedding I go to, they get divorced. <laughs> no, real. I'm like 12 out of 15 in my career. It's like got a worse record than the Knicks these days. And it's gotten to the point where the priest doesn't even ask if anybody has any objections. He just says, "Oh, Dave's here. Forget it. You guys, you guys are screwed. Don't worry about it." My buddy was married 11 months. Poor guy. Poor me, really. You know how much money I shelled out? <laughs> really? Engagement gift? I, I rented a tux, a bachelor party, less than 11 months. I could have bought myself a flat screen TV with all that money. At least that would have come with a one year warranty. <laughs> I, I start, I'm going to start giving post dated checks now when I go to a wedding. Seriously. Here you go. This is made out to the two of you. It's payable 18 months from now. <laughs> so if you can still stand each other then. <laughs> long enough to be in the same room to sign the check, then go crazy. Otherwise I'm stopping payment on that fucker. <laughs> yeah, this is my buddy. So you know what's going to happen. He's getting divorced. He's probably going to end up getting married again. It's going to cost me another gift. And divorced again. Matt's probably married again. What a fucking scam this is. I can't afford this. <laughs> you know, I give on a sliding scale now. Your first wedding, I give you a very nice gift. Second wedding, I cut it down a little bit. Still a nice gift, but a, a little bit less. If you have the balls to invite me to a third wedding, <laughs> plus a guest, I will respond for two people, but I will show up by myself, without a gift, eat my two steaks, and go home. Because <laughs> believe me, I've heard <laughs> anybody, anybody bring porn on airplanes these days? <laughs> Just me? I don't know, because I, I never know whether it's, they sell porn in the in the uh, in the magazine shop at the airport, which I was surprised to see. They sell like penthouse and Playboy. Like, what are you what are you doing with that on the plane? <laughs> I always check mine in my luggage. You know, I don't you know, I don't need it on the plane, but you know, gotta have it where I'm going. You can't you can't travel. <laughs> <laughs> Especially if you're staying in a hotel. Hotels are like, you have to jerk off in the hotel. They're made for that. <laughs> you know, you got like the excitement that housekeeping might walk down, you know. You got the little uh, spank vision on the TV there. And you got all those uh, single serving bottles of lotion lined up on the bathroom sink there. Come on, that's what, that's what they're there for. That's why they put those there. They know what you're doing. Hey, what you doing with those? Why else do you think they give you 14 towels in your room every night? <laughs> I'm Dick Kim, so you guys will be great. Thank you. <laughs>